Online sales have changed the way people shop, but experts say don't count shopping centers and malls out. They see positive signs despite the closures of certain national retailers. Max Rodriguez reports. With so many options, retailers are working overtime to get people inside stores. Especially the weekends, like we have like events outside, so a lot of people, like they look inside here and they want to come in. And then, is the seven okay with you? Okay. Shopping malls creating experiences for customers, giving them a reason to visit. Here we are truly a one-stop shop. We have medical services, we have a grocer, we have fitness. Kamakana Ali'i is a unique situation. It's a new build, so it was built with several services in mind beyond retail. There's a hotel, movie theater, and plenty of places to eat. After managing shopping centers across the island that were 30 years old, <laughs> that infrastructure is a challenge, and it doesn't allow a, a developer or landlord to pivot as, as easily. There is a change in the commercial real estate landscape. Large tenants like Macy's, the latest to announce a round of closures nationwide. A commercial real estate agent says it could be tough filling those large spaces. The cost elements of, of building uh, the timelines the, the, of, you know, permit, permit times. So there, there are a lot of challenges, but, you know, let's not forget that pre-COVID, there were 70 companies where their number one store in the world was in Hawaii. They say companies are interested in Hawaii, but can be turned off by the costs and slow permitting process. And despite an 18% dip last year in commercial real estate investment, according to Colliers, experts feeling confident in 2024 with dropping interest rates for borrowers. The metrics that we watch and follow, they're, they're all pointing to a return of 2019 numbers. But experts say don't expect that large retail space left by an anchor tenant to be filled by a similar retailer. Businesses leaning towards smaller footprint. Making the shops a little bit smaller allows for that more comfortable feel. And so I think that's what we're seeing with retailers is they're wanting to create, again, it goes back to that experience. Max Rodriguez, KH1 News, working for Hawaii.